Hi, my name is Chris from the Tech Gods. Today we'll be replacing uh, the LCD screen on an Acer Chromebook model C7. Specifically, this is a C710-2847. C710-2847. Uh, all of these should be similar, the uh, C7 models. Basically, you can see that we have a uh, pretty well cracked LCD screen here. Uh, it actually looks a lot worse in person than it does on the screen there, but you can see we have lots of different blobs on the screen. That uh, this thing is pretty well shot. So what we what we'll do is we'll turn this thing off first. That's the first step. A lot of these videos run in uh, fast fast motion where they uh, do the the screwing in and out really fast. We don't actually need to do that because this one's a pretty quick video. So we'll turn it off. We'll take the uh, power out. We don't want any power running through there while we take it apart. We also want to remove the battery. Put that aside. Okay, now the first step here, uh, all you need to, to have handy for this is a uh, simple, small Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I also have a guitar pick here, which I may or may not need as I'm doing this, but I use it to separate plastic pieces to keep from marring them with metal, metal uh, tools. Um, if you don't have a guitar pick handy, any small piece of uh, plastic will do, you know, old, old credit cards, something like that. Uh, sometimes even your fingernail, I think this one actually will come off with my fingernail. Uh, so basically you just take your fingernail and you slide it across the top of this screen or you can take your guitar pick and you can slide it in between the bezel and the back of the cover. And that just unsnaps very easily. And you can run the guitar pick down the same way. And it just undoes the snaps there and you work your way from the top to the bottom. And then when you get near the bottom here you want to push the screen back as far as it'll go. And then you can unsnap the hinges and that comes right off nice and easy. And just be careful with it because it's very fragile. You don't want to crack any of the uh, snaps or anything like that. And then we have our LCD exposed here, nice and easy. Uh, you'll see on this, we have one screw on the top left, one on the top right. Down along the bottom here, we actually have three screws, but only this one, the inside screw, needs to be removed. And the same applies to the right-hand side. There's the two outside screws and then the inside screw. That's the one we need to remove. So those four screws need to come out. That's nice and easy to do that. You'll notice the bottom left one actually has a, a piece of the sheathing from the uh, from the, the monitor cable <clears throat> that actually goes through the sheathing. Uh, it holds the wire in place, so make sure you put it back that way when you uh, when you re reassemble this. It helps to have a magnetic screwdriver so that you don't have these screws rolling around everywhere when you're doing this. They stick on the, the tip of the uh, screwdriver as you take them out. And then that bottom left one, again, it goes through that sheathing. So just be careful as you take it out that you don't wreck the sheathing or anything like that. Just keeps the uh, monitor cable in place as, uh, you know, as you're putting that bezel back on so it's not just flopping around in there. So then we can take the monitor. Once those four screws are out, this, this whole LCD will come forward like that. And you'll see on the back here there's a piece of tape that holds in the monitor connector, the LCD connector. We'll need to remove that. Again, that guitar pick comes in handy for that. I can slide it underneath there. And pull that up. And then these, these uh, LCD cables just slide back out of the connectors. Let me see if I can get that on the screen there. They just slide back out of the connector, straight back. You don't want to bend them or uh, do it you know, uneven at all. You want to make sure it slides out nice and evenly. And then this cable can just be pushed to the side. And here's our old cracked monitor, which we can recycle. And then we have our new LCD screen that needs to be put in. Um, there's an obvious bottom and an obvious top on these. The, the bottom has a, an LCD inverter board inside it. The top is just flat across. Uh, it has a screen protector on it that'll help us uh, get it in place without getting fingerprints all over it and without scratching it, of course. So now we can put this cable back on. Again, you have to be very careful to put this in straight and you don't want to put any extra pressure on that LCD inverter board but you do need to get it to be snug on the inside there and we can put our piece of tape back on there the tape just holds it in in case of uh, you know the computer being jostled around or anything like that keeps the cable from sliding out accidentally it is a pretty snug fit so in most cases the cable isn't required uh, the tape isn't required but uh, sometimes you know, there's a hard enough hit that it might pull that out. 
So it's just a little added protection. So now we take this and we can stand it back up into its place. There's some little uh, little plastic pieces that kind of hold it in place on the top here while you get your screws ready. And you want to make sure that on the bottom that little piece of sheathing gets back over the top of that hole so you can put your screw through it. And we'll put that one in first. Three more go in rather quickly. Okay, and we can remove our pre protective shield over the top of this. It's okay if we leave a little tape behind. Usually they come with masking tape or something that comes off relatively easily. So if you leave a little behind on the edges there, it's all going to be covered by the bezel anyway. So if you leave a little behind there, it's not such a terrible thing. Now at this point, we'd be tempted to put the bezel back on. However, having done this more than once, I'll note that sometimes it doesn't go as planned and you want to make sure that it does work before we put the bezel back on. So we can go ahead and plug it in with the, without the battery attached and we can turn it on. Let's see if it comes up for us. Okay, we have backlight and then we have the chrome welcome screen coming up. So it appears that everything is back to normal. So now we can go ahead and snap this bezel back on. Again, we'll start from the bottom. We'll push it in here. I have a little bit of tape on there. We'll push it in on the bottom here. And you want to make sure you support the monitor as you snap the bottom across because they are rather fragile and you don't want to push against that because it could snap this new, new LCD that we just installed and we'd have to go through all this again and the expense of buying another one. So we just work our way around, make sure all the snaps are snapped. We can double check all the edges and make sure that everything is flush. And it looks like the hinges still need a little persuasion. So I'm going to just grab them from the other side and snap them into place. So there you have it, uh, the LCD replacement on an Acer Chromebook C7, uh, specifically model C710. And uh, again, my name is Chris from the Tech Gods, uh, and I was happy to uh, do this video for you. Thank you.